My friends, welcome back to the channel. Fox here, your friendly neighborhood EDC enthusiast and just an all-around common man that likes to be prepared. Hey, today we are checking out considerations for pocket screwdrivers for everyday carry. I know it's a riveting subject, but I'll tell you what, these little guys have saved me over the course of many years in many industries, and so I thought I'd talk about it because I don't see a whole lot of channels mentioning it or talking about it. Uh, now, when I talk about pocket screwdrivers for EDC and the consideration there, yes, my uh, Victorinox knife has uh, two different types of uh, flathead screwdrivers. They can also sometimes be used for Phillips. This uh, Swiss Knife Shop exclusive Victorinox Tinker uh, has the same flathead capabilities as well as the Phillips. I just did a review on the Tinker, so you can check that out if you care to know about that knife. But when I talk about pocket screwdriver considerations, I'm specifically talking about these four options here. Uh, these are smaller eyeglass screwdrivers that can be used. You can fit them in your pocket, so I guess you could call them pocket screwdrivers, but that's not what I'm talking about. Uh, these little screwdrivers, they come in red and clear. These are from Craftsman. These are great screwdrivers as well. I believe they even came with clips. You could pocket carry them, but they're a little bit fat and a little bit short. Uh, so I would put these in a bag maybe, but I don't think I'd carry them. So we're not talking as much about those. Uh, there's all these funny doodads and gadgets. This is kind of neat. It's got a lot of different options uh, from hex bits to Phillips and flat, uh, but it's really heavy and uh, it hurts your hands when you use it. I just can't really see carrying this. This is a gift and I appreciate it, but it's kind of a novelty item. Uh, so when I talk about uh, pocket screwdrivers for everyday carry, I'm talking about these options and I felt like I had to mention this. Anybody from the U.S. knows what this is. Uh, this is a Sears Craftsman uh, keychain tool, obviously four different flat heads. I'm sure you could use them as pry bars. Uh, they used to sell these with tool sets. They used to sell them next to the cash register at Sears. And honestly, this is a great option. Great for the keychain. It's really flat, very light. Uh, you could even switch this if you wanted to put paracord or something else. This is still a great option. Uh, you can get a pretty decent amount of leverage on that. Um, but the thing that this doesn't have that I like in a pocket screwdriver is length. And that's the issue. If you have a screw that's recessed somewhere, you're not going to be able to get in there to get to it with this because the tip of the screwdriver is only so long as you can see. So a great option for sometimes, but I think there's a better option. And that's why I want to talk about a, uh, a more typical pocket screwdriver. This one here is a flathead from Mac Tools. It does have a magnet. Uh, this is a no-name brand, very similar to the Mac Tool ones in yellow. I like the bright colors, so if you drop them, you can find them easier also has a magnet and it's quite strong as you can see there this is a 6 30 second screw uh, this is very common for receptacle plates so again if you live in this country even if you're not handy or, or haven't done much of tools you probably know what that is and i just kind of wanted to show uh, it's a little bit hard to see but you can see it's similar to a 6 30 seconds tip uh, just so you can see kind of what that looks like i did bring the uh, ruler out here and this is a, pretty much exactly six inches so just so you know, now these are very lightweight. They're very inexpensive. I bought a 10 pack of these or maybe it was an eight pack. I can't remember. They range from a dollar or two if you want one uh, up into 10, 15, $20, depending on the quality. Uh, this is, like I said, this is a no name brand, probably made in China. Uh, I do have several from Mac Tools and other tool brands. These are pretty good. Um, but then I want to talk about these two options here. This one they sell near the counter at O'Reilly, as you can see here. Uh, and the thing about this one is that it's reversible, uh, flat and Phillips. So that is kind of a nice feature. Um, I actually keep this one in the center console of my truck. And if you guys like, I'll do a truck EDC video of what I keep in there. Uh, but this is just handy to have around. It's nice that it's flat and Phillips. Uh, this is a little bit fatter, a little bit heavier. And because this moves, it may not be quite as sturdy so I like to keep this in bags. I have a few in bags and I like to keep it in my center console. Uh, but when it comes to what I'll actually carry on my person or on a bag that's on my person, it comes to one of these options. Now, again, the yellow and the red are the same. So I'm gonna move the red here to the side and basically talk about the two most common variations of pocket screwdrivers. Almost always they're flathead and almost always they have a magnet. Uh, now this one, which ironically enough is made by LG, is a flathead screwdriver, but it also has this on the end. Does anybody know what this is for? I give you a hint right here. This is a valve stem core remover. So you can just stick this in here like this and you take the core out of the valve stem just like that. When you go to get the mechanic shop and they do something with your tires, 
they take this out and the air just flies out of there. Or they may screw something on here and rip this whole thing out depending on what they want to do. But a lot of mechanics will use these little pocket screwdrivers. And uh, you know, even if your tire is low on air pressure and they can't find the leak, uh, it helps to have one of these tools so that way you can check and just make sure these are tight. It's very rare that they become loose, but it is possible. So something to consider. Now, again, this knife I prefer to put in a bag uh, just because this is sharp. If I put this in my, my fifth jeans pocket or even the regular pocket on my jeans, if I bend forward, uh, this is kind of poking me. So this is a great knife for a bag, for a kit, for a center console. In my opinion, not as good for everyday carry, which is why I landed on the no-name brand, regular old yellow screwdriver. Flathead, magnetic tip, lightweight. And obviously, what would you use these for? Well, anything that has a flathead screw that's this size or even larger, you can, you can turn and you can undo. Uh, if the Phillips head screw is the same size or even a little bit bigger, you can also use this on Phillips. Obviously, you won't get as good of a purchase as you would with the, with the actual Phillips. But as you can see, they're so similar, this would work. Um, and then, of course, there's pry bar. Uh, th this isn't a great pry bar. It's probably not full tang. Uh, but I have pried open paint can lids and different things with these screwdrivers over the years. They come really handy as a pry bar. And last but not least, uh, this is kind of a makeshift blade so if you have an amazon box let's say you don't have your knife on you or it's not close to you but you have one of these in your pocket if you take just the corner of that and run it along the tape seam uh, you can open up a tape from an amazon box or a package in the mail uh, pretty easily obviously you can you know puncture if you have something that you need to puncture uh, it could just be used for several different things and it's kind of one of those things a lot of people don't like to carry a flashlight on them but once they start you know using the carrying the flashlight they find themselves using it uh, before they said i'll just use my cell phone but then they buy a flashlight and they start to use it it's kind of the same thing you may not need this tool uh, but for the price and the lightweight and the ease of use to carry it uh, i add it to all my kits to all my vehicles and it pulled me out of several jams i actually just lost one so this one's brand new and uh, and i also keep this red one uh, in another vehicle so anyways guys just some considerations for pocket screwdriver carry uh, there's a lot of screwdrivers out there, color, shape, sizes. I just listed a couple here. Uh, you even have something like a multi-tool like this Kershaw that has a flathead and a pry bar right there, as you can see. Um, you know, that might work for most of the time. Again, the problem with this, and even sometimes on the Victorinox, is you don't get a lot of reach. I even once needed this Phillips to do something, and the problem was the reach was just slightly further than this extends, and I was not able to use this tool. So even sometimes as good as it is, there's a the right tool for the job. This is a great makeshift tool. It does a lot of all around things. And you guys know I love my Victorinox, but the length on these screwdrivers is really good for prying, really good for you know anything that's reset. So check them out. You can buy them on Amazon. You can buy them on eBay. If you see a tool truck driving around, you might be able to pick one up from them. They might just give it to you as a gift or you might purchase it probably two or $3, but not very expensive. Y'all carry uh, pocket screwdrivers? What do you think? Thanks for watching.